we are, well, have been for the last couple of days in Rhodesia. Is this actually Rhodesia then? I think we're on the edge of Rhodesia. I'm pretty sure we just passed something called the Strathlock. Um, and, and from that point on, I think we're in Rhodesia, but I'm not entirely clear on that. The next lock, which is literally just there, is the deep lock, so be fun for you. Mm-hmm. Deep. It's only 10 feet. It's not that deep. We've done deeper. We've done deeper. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, so uh, six locks, is it? Yeah, we're gonna, I'm going to try and get to Shire Oaks today. There's a service point there, so we can yeah. top our water up and we can... Eliminate some of the refuse <laughs> that we have. The liquid refuse. Yes, I was I was being subtle, but okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so we've we've we're basically full in some of our tanks and uh, and not entirely empty in the others, but we need to top up. So yeah, six locks. It's been quite good here. A lot it's, of foot traffic. Yeah, there's a lot of foot traffic. There's um, a road which has been quite noisy. Um, and there's not really anywhere for George other than the towpath, so it's not the best, but... Not if you've got a dog, yeah. but it's a very short walk over to a really quite well-stocked uh, Sainsbury's. Yeah, did you check the diesel? Uh, no. Would, no, not yet. I'll check before we go. Okay. Um, it's also Sains, uh, yeah, Sainsbury's with a petrol station, so... Yes, so if we had some means of actually carrying the diesel other than a bunch of plastic bags, which wouldn't work... Well, they'll sell a jerry can. Oh, will they? Yeah. Okay, well then, we could get a tiny amount of diesel over here on that. All right, I'll check the diesel. Anyway, <laughs> it's a good location to be. The foot traffic, considering we had a couple of days of just sitting inside the boat and working, um, there is a considerable amount of foot traffic, but everybody is very pleasant. Oh, everyone's nice. It's just, there's no, it's just noisy. Yeah. Um, and we've heard rumors that there's very limited Wi-Fi above, above Shire Oaks, or above here, really. So... So we'll see. We might not be able to work. <laughs> we may not be able to upload these videos. But we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. This lock is called Deep Lock, but it's not actually that deep, just 10 feet. It is, however, the deepest lock on this canal, which I guess is why it's got its name. Many of the paddles on the Chesterfield Canal are fitted with anti-vandal devices. I've only managed to get the offside paddle open, but despite that, the boat's rising pretty fast. Some of the mechanisms can be a little temperamental, but with some natural thinking and a little bit of force, we managed to get it open, just in time to raise the water the last few inches. We're passing the local amenity tip here. I think it's just reopened after lockdown as there's a very long queue of cars waiting to unload. We passed some visitor moorings with mooring rings halfway to the next lock. This would probably have been a quieter place to stop. There's a lovely duck family just below the lock. It looks like nine ducklings have survived to almost adulthood. Unfortunately, when the boat comes along, they try and flee and end up in the lock with us. This is never a good thing. The lock's really shallow, barely a couple of feet, and the mummy duck flies out, leaving the teenagers stuck inside. When I arrive, she flies off over the road bridge ahead. The ducklings look pretty calm as the lock rises. They're huddled together at the end, and they even accept some of our duck food, so they can't be that stressed out.
Vietnam is nowhere to be seen as they finally make their bid for freedom. Not wanting to leave the ducklings orphaned, Michael goes in search of Mum. He finds her below the lock and after a little bit of encouragement, she flies off for a family reunion. And then we can finally get on our way. Another lock that doesn't want to open. This one looks like it may have been tampered with. With a little bit of perseverance, we get it unlocked too. This is officially Robbie Cummings' favorite lock. Mechanism? Yeah, right, lock mechanism. This is Robbie Cummings approved lock mechanism. See the link in the description below. Now this is one of my favourite lock paddle mechanisms because, just listen to this, absolutely smooth, it's all going up, no pressure stopping me from opening it, very clever system, I'm not sure how it works but it's quite rare to see those. You may remember from a recent vlog, we said that George had been getting a little barky at locks. He never used to do this. Does he think we're going to leave him behind? I've only ever done that once, and, and we don't talk about that. As we pull onto the lock landing, we get a message via a walker and a fisherman that the previous lock is leaking. So I decide to walk back and take a look while Michael and George have some refreshments. There's nothing wrong with the lock. The gates are a little bit leaky, probably because they've dried out while no one's been using them. On our way again, and this rather nice gravel towpath is getting lots of use today. There are some visitor moorings just above the lock, so we decide to stop here for the night. Well, we made it to two sharks. Yay. 
It's moored outside the marina. It's right over there. We didn't find the services. We think they're in the marina. Pretty sure. It's hot. How was your day? It's hot. Met some nice friendly people. Yeah. Shoved a bunch of ducks into a canal. Yeah. Into a lock. Well, into a lock. They were moved in. Then into a canal. Yeah, reunited a mommy and her babies. After separating them. That's the ducks we're talking about. No, it's a mother. Mommy and babies. <sighs> and uh, yeah, lots of people about. Lots of people. Enjoying their daily exercise. It's and uh, Sunday, so that kind of explains it. Yeah, it kind of explains it. And we traveled up the last three locks fairly quickly. All quick. of the locks a little leaky today because they've dried out and, and a lot of the beams are not really as... Um, as engorged with water as usual and so they don't sort of meet each other you someone swell said, up a bit yeah. someone said someone's been moving to get water so we can't be the only people or the first people to come through so. makes sense yeah. you'd have to people have to move to get water from here i think we're the first to go from redford from redford certainly but you know yeah it oh. is hot today yeah which means that it's gonna be hot in the boat it's gonna be hot in the boat today yeah. Right, so yeah, but quite an une uneventful journey compared to recent journeys. Yeah, yeah no trees, no... Uh, weed. Well, a little bit of weed. A little bit of weed, but not, not a lot of weed. Uh, no, no. The, the majority of the issue was just a couple of slightly, somewhat leaky locks. And, um, oh, and Joe got told at one point that, that the lock, we, we may have left one of the gates open and there was some confusion. I didn't understand the first person who said the second we person who said it. You'd already left. You didn't, you didn't speak to the first person. No, well, I heard them say something to you, but I had no idea what it was they said. And so I walked back to a lock to find it was fine, and I'd rather go back and check than potentially leave, leave something open. up. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. yeah, you don't want to leave any gates up, especially when water levels are at the issues that they're having right now. Like the overflows are all flowing, so there's definitely water. But the reservoir is apparently quite slow, quite low. So. Yeah. Yeah, um, but yeah. <sighs> good, good cruise. Good cruise. Short cruise, hot cruise. Yeah, yeah, definitely accomplished a lot today. <laughs> Feel like we've we've done our bit for the world. Okay. Moved a little bit of water around, saved some ducks. After threatening some ducks, yes, I understand it was our fault. That Can the... you tell me what you said to the mummy duck to make it come back? Whack. <laughs> Basically, I I I. So we didn't... I went whack. Quack, 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 and she took off and went in the direction I was pointing. So ultimately it worked. Because when her babies got trapped, she abandoned them, so we were a bit worried. I think she was afraid of being squished, and she's like... She left her babies to get squished. Well, I think she was like, they'll do less to make a dinner out of my babies. I'm sure they won't think about it. Anyway. The ducks were fine. We gave them a little bit of food. They seemed happy yeah, they about that. Yeah, they weren't too distressed. Once, yeah, once they were out of the lock, they were like, okay, we're reunited. It's all good. But they weren't too distressed because they were eating. So. Yeah. But it was funny seeing them all because they were almost all... Adults. Like, nearly adult. They just weren't quite... They hadn't fledged, so they weren't able to really fly on their own. And they were all just crammed up into this corner, kind of pitifully together, going, what's going to happen to us? Are we about to be turned into... You know, Kung Pao or something like we, uh, we've heard horror stories, uh, but no, we just fed them and, and opened the gates, and they were like, Oh, hi, mommy, good. Yeah, lots of fun. I'm delirious and clearly heat stroked. So, so thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that bell if you want to get some more notifications about just how bloody hot it is in England right now. It's recording. Is it recording? That's mm -hmm. recording. Does it have both microphones turned on? Yeah. We've swapped around which one they're in. Okay. Not that it matters. <sighs> Hello. Wait, should I be taking the hat off? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I know. It looks ridiculous. We need haircuts. We need haircuts. I need a haircut more than you need a haircut. Being diplomatic. Hmm? I was being diplomatic. So am I. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, um, and um, had something to say. Yeah, she had something to say. Okay, well, 
good to know. Nice gun. Deep lock ahead. That's about it? Yeah. Okay, we go. We go now. Bye-bye. <laughs>